Well, historic flooding in Louisiana has claimed at least seven lives. More than 11,000 people are staying in shelters this morning and more than 20,000 have been rescued from rising water. But people have pulled together throughout the devastated region to give each other support. Jamie Wax is in Baton Rouge where people are helping their neighbors survive. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. For the past several days, one of the only ways to get around in certain parts of Baton Rouge has been with a boat or with something like this a Chevy truck converted into a high-riding hunting vehicle. For this week, this truck hasn't been used for hunting. It's been used for rescuing people that have been stranded by the floods. When the water started to rise, Robert Singleman and Teague Bonneville rolled into action. How many people have you rescued with this truck? 250 plus. Yeah. Babies, kids, elderly, 30 dogs. This video was taken as they plucked stranded neighbors from their homes. They're part of a loose collection of volunteers known locally as the Cajun Navy. You don't get emotional right when you do it. Um, you just do it. With 911 operators overwhelmed, Scott and Jessica Gaspar turned to Facebook for help. Eventually, boats arrived to take them and their 11 children to safety. What we truly saw were friends, neighbors, complete strangers rescuing people left and right. The officials had no idea this was going to happen, so, so it was truly the guy next door. You should have seen the line of people. Patrick Mulhern heads up TV and film complex Celtic Studios. It's massive sound stages, usually the site for movies like Oblivion and The Twilight Saga, have been converted into shelters for those left homeless. There was about 4,000 people here yesterday, um, so it was a small town, no doubt about it. As devastating as the floodwaters have been, Mulhern says the outpouring of support is a hopeful sign, especially after a tense summer of police shootings and racial tension. Floodwaters don't discriminate. They, you know, they, they don't care about race, color, creed, religion gender, you, you name it. Latrinda Sanford and her children have been living at the shelter since losing their home several days ago. Did you ever think you'd see anything like this in Baton Rouge? No, I never thought that I would be experiencing what Ka Katrina victims have experienced. Lisa Wellmeyer survived Hurricane Katrina. She moved to Baton Rouge after losing her home in that storm nearly 11 years ago and finds herself flooded out again. What I've learned is it's not about the material things, it's about the soul of Louisiana. And that's what they've got. They've got a real big, healthy heart. Lisa Wellmeyer explained to us how the city of Baton Rouge welcomed her family and others from New Orleans after Katrina. She said now it's time for her to repay the favor by helping those who came to her rescue nearly 11 years ago. Gail? I'll talk about paying it forward. Thank you very much, Jamie.